Okay, so you get yourself a uh, brand new tail pitch control arm and put your bolt through the washer that's supplied and you essentially just uh, mount it in this fashion. Tighten it up. Okay, and then you realize that when you tighten this up, now mind you, I'm only doing it finger tight here, that it's all binded up. I'm going to show you how to get that to that quite easily. As you can see here, I've got another one and it's been set up exactly the same and it's so free it's yeah, perfect. So let's have a look and see what we've actually got inside that's causing this to bind up. Uh, usually you can pop a side out just by using the threads. Like that. Pop that out. You can pop the other bearing out if you want, or you can just leave it there, it doesn't really matter. The thing that you're interested in is this piece here. This is what's causing the problem. So, why is it causing the problem? Now I'm going to come right in on this to explain why. That's your outer race, and that's your inner race. Your outer race sits on that ridge. So, you see that ridge there? Okay, now that's the inner race down the bottom there that you can see of the other bearing down there. And what's used is this bit of alloy. They use this bit of alloy against the inner race, and it should be up against the other race but it's not. I'll show you what I mean. When you put it there you can actually see it's below the height of the outer race. See that? So that just floats in there. So when you put this bearing in there's nothing against the inner race to push against the inner race on this side. If we were to look at the bearing side on, you have an outer race, a channel that is like that, the ball sitting in there, and then the inner race. And that happens again over the other side. Ball. And the outer race. Okay, so when you put your bolt through here, and you start forcing down in this direction. What happens is you push this and the ball gets clamped in this direction. And that's what binding is. That's that's how, how you end up binding. So what you need to do is have a support here and between the, the, the bottom race.
so that when you do tighten this bolt up against whatever it is on this side it only goes it only uh, compresses between there and this doesn't move at all because you've got a fixed bit of metal in here okay the problem with with what we've got there is that this inner section stops about here so we've got a gap and that's why I said if you put the washer in there it actually fixes a lot of the problems up uh, but then you still need a washer down the bottom here so that's not good enough for us um, also the bolt that, that's been supplied actually just touches the outside here so you're clamping these two sections with a bit of metal just in there so I'm going to show you how to fix all this this problem up. What I did is uh, I, I purchased some brass tubing which will sit on that inner race. Okay, just to give you an example, I pass the bolt through. And as you can see there, it only rests on the inner race. And that's all you want. You just want something that's going to sit on that inner race. So how long do we cut it? Well, we see that that's 5 millimeters. So I'm going to cut a length here at 6 mil and then I'm going to start filing it down from there. So here's my piece. Here's the original piece. You can see I've got quite a bit more there. So this just to test it out to see if we're getting close to the uh, the length. So we pop that in there. And as you can see it's fairly high. Just look at what it looks like with the bearing in there. Yeah, so now that's way too high. So we need to take off a little bit more so that seats in there. Five point eight seven. Five point oh five. So it's about point eight of a mil too short. So now when we put this in. It actually just sticks up past the race uh, where the seat is. I'm going to clean all these bearings up. And as you can see there, the bearing is just up. It's just slightly, you know, not seated all the way through. Okay, so now if you put this washer on. and you mount it onto here we should already have a better result although we've still got to fix up the bolt side but nonetheless so it's almost there but still not right okay so if you've got two washers, that's great, your problem solved because all you do is put a washer on this side and a washer on the top. So for argument's sake, you put the washer there. And the washer won't sit on the outer race. So you, you just clear it. And then you would mount it in there. But like I said, I don't have a second washer. 
So what I did was I grinded away the seat in that fashion all the way around so now when I put this in here it serves a purpose or does the same purpose as what a washer would and now you can tighten this up as much as you like and it rests on the bearings instead of binding the bearings so that's it let's put some Loctite in there now and, and it's set